Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com, and welcome to another episode of The John Morris Show. And in this episode, I'm going to be answering another one of your questions. And the question is, what is the best course for WordPress theme development? Now, before I dive into that question, I wanted to let you know that I have recently released two of my courses, Responsive Web Design 101 and PHP and MySQL 101 over on BitTorrent. And so if you're interested in those two topics, then I would head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash courses and check those out. And I wanted to take just a minute to talk specifically about the PHP and my SQL 101 course because I often get a lot of questions related to MySQL and PHP and prepared statements, MySQLi, PDO, etc. And this course is really kind of the answer to all of that. So the course dives into not only just the interaction between PHP and MySQL and create, read, update, delete, but also database design, object modeling, using prepared statements, uh, again, using MySQLi and PDO through all of it, how to create an abstracted database so you don't have to constantly rewrite this stuff, and also using some of the tools that are out there already. So if you're someone who's looking to kind of get the PHP and MySQL interaction handled, then this is a great course for doing that. Of course, that again, that course and all the other ones uh, that I have available, you can find over at johnmorrisonline.com slash training. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this question. What is the best course for WordPress theme development? So I'm gonna answer your question directly, and then I'm also gonna give you a few piece of, pieces of advice when it comes to learning WordPress. So I think currently the best course or book or Anything that's out there is the Professional WordPress Plugin Development by Oz Richard, Justin Tadlock, and Brad Williams. It really is a comprehensive guide to not only creating WordPress plugins and themes, but to doing it in a in the WordPress way, doing it the right way, which I think is absolutely important. Of course, there's also a number of good courses over on Udemy.com. Uh, you can do a search over there for WordPress and check the most popular ones, and there's some really great courses. Udemy has pretty high standards for what courses they let through, so you're going to find pretty good stuff over there regardless, and of course, the more popular ones are the ones that uh, are obviously doing better in terms of teaching people that particular topic, so you can head on over there as well, but you can find professional WordPress plugin development by Oz Richard, D Justin Tadlock, and Brad Williams on Amazon, or you can head over to johnmorrisonline.com slash books and see all the books that I recommend for web design, web development, freelancing, etc. All right, so that's kind of directly answering your question, but I want to take it a little bit further because in my experience, there are a few things that you want to do, or a few steps that you want to go through in order to really get WordPress handled. So beyond just a course or a tutorial, the next thing that you really want to be to get good at is being able to actually read through the WordPress code and specifically tracking functions back through it. It's one of the most uh, uh, enlightening things that you can do inside of WordPress is to maybe see a function that you're using that's listed in the codex or a filter or an action and be able to go into the WordPress code and actually see where it's used, how it's used, and trace it back through all of WordPress to figure out exactly where it comes from and how it all works. And so again, reading through WordPress code when you're working with functions and you have questions, tracing them back through the actual WordPress code uh, is one of the things that I would highly recommend that you do and make it a, a habit of yours whenever you're working with WordPress to always do that first before you get into maybe going somewhere and asking a question and so forth. Just actually try and read back through the code. If you do that, you're gonna learn WordPress a lot quicker. You'll probably answer most of your questions on your own. And then the ones you don't are probably gonna be questions that a lot of other people have as well or maybe never thought of. Uh, and so the questions you ask are gonna be really good questions that are gonna bring value. So reading through the WordPress code is another very important thing that you can do to get better at 
plugin and theme development and so forth. The next thing is if you're going to get into WordPress development, I highly, highly recommend that you run WordPress on your own site. So you get used to using it. You get used to the, the admin area, even the front end and so forth. And then when you want to do things in your site, the development you do is inside of WordPress and it's helping you learn the system better. So I do see some people who are working with WordPress who don't actually run WordPress on their site. And I think that's a mistake. Uh, I think you're, you're selling yourself short in what you could be learning uh, and how much quicker you could could advance your WordPress career. So run WordPress on your own site. And when you want to do development stuff for your own site, then you'll be doing it inside of WordPress and advancing your knowledge and so forth. After that, the first thing I recommend is building a plugin. Now, I think this is a little counter to what a lot of people recommend. A lot of people I see recommend building a theme first, but I actually recommend building a plugin first. And, and the, the reason is simple. It's just easier. Now, I know that that may seem weird because, again, a lot of people have this perception that these plugins are these big, huge things. But the reason I say building a plugin is easier is because a plugin can be as big or small as you want it to be. And that's not true of a theme. A theme, there's a certain set of requirements that you need to fill in order for it to really work as a theme. And so there's, uh, again, there's just a certain amount that you have to know and get through in order to be able to build a theme. Whereas with a plugin, again, it could be incredibly small. I mean, I've seen plugins that were less than 50 lines of code. And so building a plugin is just something that's going to be a lot easier for you to do and help you get experience in how you interact into WordPress, how you hook in, how you use the, the their functions and so forth. They'll just give you a lot more experience and you can grow your plugin as you learn more or you can make new plugins that are bigger and so forth. And so it allows you to kind of dabble a little bit more and get your feet wet and get into it. Whereas with a theme, again, there's just, there's a certain amount that has to be there for it to work. And so you really have to know all that and you have to learn all that. So it, it sets a little bit higher bar for you. And, and, you know, if you're brand new, you may not quite be ready for all of that. So I would say build a plugin first to get your feet wet and get used to it. Then after that, I would recommend getting into building a theme and building a theme in, in my mind. Again, if you build a huge plugin, that's going to obviously require a lot more knowledge and a lot more work, but generally speaking, building a theme is just going to require a lot more of you. Uh, it's going to really require you to take your WordPress skills to a next level and really hone them in. And it's going to push you. Hopefully at that point, you've got enough experience with WordPress that uh, you, you feel comfortable tackling a theme. You feel t comfortable tackling all the uh, things that you're going to need to do in order to make a theme work. And now you can push yourself a little bit to up your WordPress knowledge. And so at that point, I would work on building a theme uh, and getting better at, at, at that kind of thing. If you do that, you follow those pieces of advice. By the time you get to building a theme, you should be very comfortable with working on client projects, building plugins, themes, managing sites, and so forth uh with with wordpress sites and just feel a lot more comfortable with it and be able to deliver a lot more value and at the end of the day that's how you're going to get better jobs is being able to deliver more value all right so that'll do it for this episode of the show i want to thank you for listening if you haven't subscribed yet then please do that wherever you are and also if you could like this uh wherever you happen to be listening to it so i know that this is the kind of content that you like then i would definitely appreciate that if you have a question for me, you can ask your question over on Cora.com. It's Cora.com slash John Morris dash 67. Ask your question, then you can invite me to it and I will try to get on the show. Or you can tweet me at JB Morris using the hashtag JMO I want to know and I'll try to answer that question as well. Finally, if you haven't yet, head on over to JohnMorrisOnline.com and download my free seven strategies to turn your code into cash cheat sheet. All right. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next time.